Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the SOS on your iPhone if you're seeing it up top right there. So you want to follow these steps. So let's get started. Now generally what this means is you don't have any sort of cellular connectivity right now. So there's could be a couple things you want to rule out. First thing is you're going to go ahead and pull down that control menu or pull it up and put your phone in airplane mode and then turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. So if you're having any issues, it should go ahead and fix it. Now, the next thing you want to consider is if you're in somewhere new location, sometimes it might not receive cellular signal to so try to move to a different location as well. Now, after you have done that, next thing we're going to check out is there if there is a carrier update. So starting from the main settings here, we're going to go to general and then about wait on this page for about 10, 15 seconds to see if there's a carrier update pop-up message. If there is, you can update. If there isn't, then we're going to move on to the next step, which is going in back in the main settings here. We're going to go to general and then scroll down here to BPN and device management. And we want to turn off any BPN setting that we have. BPN sometimes block any sort of connectivity with the network, so we need to turn that off. Now, if you're still having issues or still seeing the SOS, the next thing to do is if you have a phone with the physical SIM, it's either going to be on your left or the right side. So what you're going to do is this phone ha doesn't have it. This one does. You're going to take a SIM ejector tool like this or a paper clip or an oil earring that will fit in as into that hole. You're going to give a nice gentle push to pop that SIM card out with your finger and then reinsert it back in flush against the bezel and that's going to help it re-sync the SIM card if there is any issues with the SIM card. Now if you're still having the issue, next thing you want to do is go into your setting, go to general and scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset and we want to do a reset network setting options. Enter your phone's passcode and reset the network settings. This will not delete any of your data, but again, important step to fixing your phone. Now, if you're still having the issues, the next thing you want to do is in your settings, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi in this scenario because we need to go into general and go to software update, update the latest update for your iPhone. And you'll need internet through Wi-Fi if you, of course, don't have cellular data now, once you update your phone and it's still not working, the next thing to do is follow these steps. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears and then let go of that side button. So to do it, volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to this side button just like that. As you can see here, you're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears on the screen and we'll let go of that side button. So you're gonna wait and then we let go. If it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get the hang of it. All we did was quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to this side button. This method is known as a force restart. It will not delete any of your data. Now, once you're back on the phone and you still simply can fix it or see it, it's time to contact your phone carrier or the company you're getting your phone service from. Sometimes they might have to do something on their end for your account, maybe push out an update, maybe make sure that your phone is added to their system. In any case, they should be able to also troubleshoot and help you. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.